Hey, the Dave stuff here. This morning, I stumbled upon a new beta driver from NVIDIA. The version of it is 450.12, and it is meant more for the next version of Windows 10, so Windows 10 2004. But this driver opens up a couple of interesting things. First, if you right click and then go to display settings, you're going to go down to graphics settings and look at these two options here. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling reduces latency and improves performance. You need to restart. Variable refresh rate when possible get a higher frame frame rate and reduce screen tearing in games that don't support variable refresh rate by default. This is interesting. Now this feature, the graphics performance preference, has been here for a little while, but these two options are new. So I'm going to turn them on and I'm going to experiment. However, for you to be able to download the driver, you can find this on the NVIDIA GeForce forum. To get to it, just go to Google or your web browser. I found it in Google and I typed in NVIDIA 450.12. And you can click on the first link to the GeForce forms and it takes you to the site and there's a external link. So when you click on that link, the first thing is, is that it's 487 megs. It is not in the normal NVIDIA extraction or EXE file format. It is using a format called 7Z or 7-Zip. You need to ensure you have 7-Zip downloaded and installed. You can't use the Windows file extractor or unzip program with it. It will just not work. The other thing with this driver that I found interesting, and maybe because it's beta, if you go into the NVIDIA 450.12 folder. These are in a different format. They're not the same format as as the current drivers. So when I installed it, it didn't come to install the GeForce uh, Experience driver, which appear to be separate. And from a privacy perspective and a simplific simplification perspective. I like it in the sense that when you open up the installer, and you agree and custom, you have four options. Now I don't have a 4K monitor. However, it installs the NGX by default. But that's all here. So I like it personally. However, this also means that you're not going to be able to use NV Slimmer or uh, the N uh, NVIDIA Clean Install or whatever the name of the program is. It just won't work properly. It will not detect that it's a, an NVIDIA package. So you'll have to look at uh, cleaning out the privacy settings, if any, uh, through a different method, which I haven't discovered yet. Now you could use the existing tools that are out there that you may be able to um, find to remove telemetry, but this could also mean that there, there may be other settings now since the driver appears to be different compared to the prior versions of NVIDIA. One thing to note as well, when you install this driver, it actually told me to restart, which is, doesn't normally happen. So maybe it's because it's the new driver or maybe because it's NVIDIA's new format. The other thing is, is that if you've tweaked um, with your uh, MSI utility, if you've got that installed and you've put it on MSI mode, you're going to have to set that back up. And you're also going to have to set up your Inf Affinity profile 
if you've set it up before and you're gonna have to set it up again. However, one thing that I did note is if I go into latency mon or latency monitor, so I'll just run that right now. And performance wise, it's actually lighter and better compared to before. So that's a good sign if they've done some optimizations with system utilization. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. If you like this video, give me a like. If you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for more videos. Um, let me know if there's some types of videos that you'd like to see, uh, any recommendations you wanna look at that is not really posted anywhere. I'd like to help you with that. Anyway, with that being said, have a good one and take care.